Hey you guys, so it's been a while since I've made a video, and I think I say that in every single video I make. This is going to be my foundation routine video. I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to explain the products. And the reason I really want to get this up because is because I realized I use really inexpensive products for my face lately. So this is my everyday routine just because I'm going to school and sometimes I have to run errands after school or even go to work so this is just my everyday routine as of right now and I use inexpensive products so I kinda wanna let you guys know what I use because it works for me it might work for you it might not but I have had requests to do my foundation routine so I'm not gonna actually do it I'm just gonna explain the products that I use for you guys I'm gonna just start off with the face and then work to the eyes and the lips and the cheeks and all that stuff so the first thing I do is take my DDF ultralight oil free moisturizing dew and this product is not cheap um, this is one of the products that isn't cheap but everything I think there's two products that's kind of expensive for my whole routine so this is my moisturizer I really like this it doesn't break me out and it actually helps me with my acne after that what I do is I take my foundation I have been using the Revlon photo ready foundation it looks like this but I have 008 golden beige right now it looks light but it's actually kinda dark see this is like the real color back here but it's too dark for me so I mix it with my no um, sorry my HD foundation from coastal sense it's supposedly HD I don't know but I mix these two together and it gives me like the perfect color and I just love how it looks on my face if you can tell like I looked in the mirror today in my car and I was like wow my face looks really really like so like smooth and I don't know what it is but th I'm telling you guys like this is what I use for every day and I really really like it so so I put these two together this you can only get online from coastalsense.com but this you can get at any drugstore like CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid and sometimes you can even find it for a buy one get one free so that's that after that, what I do is conceal. My concealer, I used to use Makeup Forever concealer, which I still do sometimes. I still have my palette, but it is expensive. It's $36 for like a palette, but I got this, and this is the Coastal Sense Camo Quad, and it's in medium, and I believe this is like $8, so I really, really like this concealer palette. It's it works so well. It conceals all my spots. See, you can't really see any spots. My face looks pretty you know flawless so I love this thing and it comes with three skin colors and then a white now there is like different shades there's a light um, this is the medium and then I think there's a dark so it's a really good range and it's an amazing concealer it's very very creamy which is good which is kinda of what you want and it gives a great coverage which is why I love it so the Coastal Sense um, Camo Quad, check that out. It's really, really good, and I love this. It covers all my spots. I'm really impressed with it. For $8, you can't really beat that. After I do that, what I do is I set my makeup with my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. You can't really see the words anymore because look how much I hit pan. Now, you guys should know this. When I use like a drugstore face product, I kind of use it, and then I throw it off to the side, and I don't use it anymore. But this... I have been using it every single day and it gives my face like the most prettiest finish. I love it. If this is in 005 Silky Beige, so this one does have some color to it and I really, really like this. So what I do is I take my Kabuki and I just like brush it in there and I kind of like pat it on my face and it gives me, oh, I just love the finish. And this is like five, f like five dollars, five or six dollars at any drugstore. Um, I don't think Rite Aid has it, but CVS and Walgreens, I think, has Rimmel. So I really love this for like five bucks. You can't really beat that. And it gives me the most amazing glow. Like, I can't even believe it myself. So after I do that, the next thing I usually do is I do my blush. And I've been loving Rimmel a lot. Like, the whole Rimmel, like, line. I love because I've also been using this Rimmel powder blush. And let me tell you, this has amazing pigmentation. Let me open it. There we go. It's very little, but it looks like that. And this one is in Berry. Alright, so 
I got this on sale at CVS for like less than a dollar. And I tried it once and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm actually wearing it right now. If you can tell. Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. It, it stays on my face all day. Seriously, all day. I don't even know how it does it. And it's I got it for less than a dollar. So the pigmentation is amazing. I need like two swipes of it and it just... Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, and I have a couple other colors, but I've been using this every single day. So this is the Rimmel London Powder Blush, and they're really little, but I got it for less than a dollar at CVS, so go check that out. So I love that. And as you can tell, all this stuff is like really inexpensive so far, besides my moisturizer. The next thing I do is I usually do um, my eye makeup. Now, for eyeshadows, I do use MAC a lot. Um, just because they're like right in front of me, I kind of grab for them more often. If not, I'll use like the Coastal Sense 88 Warm Palette or something. But I do use a lot of MAC eyeshadows, but that's just my preference. So besides that, um, I use, as a base, as an eye primer, I do use my MAC um, Paint Pot, which is, this is the second um, expensive thing. Everything else is inexpensive, but I do use my MAC Paint Pot. It's the it's the one thing that actually works for me. I'm going to try Urban Decay Primer Potion again. It didn't work for me before, but I'm going to give it another try. So I do use this, and then I use MAC eyeshadows. Now for eyeliner, I use my L'Oreal Hip um, Cream Liner in black. And a lot of people hate this product. A lot of people said it dried out on them. Um, they just don't like it. But for me, I don't know what it is, but... This is amazing for me. I've had this for the longest time, and it's still not dried out. I don't know. I guess I got a good one. Some people, you out of the bunch, you might grab, like, a really bad one. I don't know. But I've had this for the longest time, and, yeah, it works for me. I would use it on my upper lid and on my waterline. I'm not sure if that's safe or not, but... It's been okay for my eyes so far, so I'm going to kind of stick with it because it stays all day. I'll get a little bit of um, running right here in the corners, but all I have to do is go like this, and seriously, I have not yet touched up my eyeliner or my face or anything. So it's so amazing, and I really love this. You can find this at Ulta, drugstores, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens. The next thing I do is I do my eyebrows, and lately I have been using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit, and this is um, from their studio line, and this is only $3, so it looks like this. I have this one in medium, this is the wax, and that's the powder, but it's $3, and I use it on my eyebrows every day for, I don't know, it's been a long time, and so this is only $3, so I really like it personally. The only thing I do also is I use like a spoolie brush, and I just kind of brush them um, out so they're like even. But that's what I use for my eyebrows. And then for my mascara, I have been using the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. It looks like a little telescope. But you can find this at any drugstore also, which, yeah, it's really good. I really like it. Um, I'm not picky on mascaras as long as my mascaras, I mean, my mascaras, as long as my lashes aren't, like, pointing straight down. If the mascara at least gives my lashes a little, like, oomph, and then I'm cool with it. I'm not really picky. I don't really, I don't buy um, really expensive mascaras. That's just not me. I don't I don't feel like it's worth it. So I love drugstore mascaras, and this one's a good one. Um, it's not the best, but I like it. I've been using it every day. And then the last thing on my lips, I have been using this lipstick every single day for school, just because it's like a neutral color. I'm wearing it right now, and this is Rimmel's. Ew, I just nicked it. Rimmel's Airy Fairy. You can see there it is that's that's what it looks like so it's like this neutral pink color and it's really nice I really like it and I've been wearing it every day it's so creamy it stays on I do have to reapply it but you know that's what you do you just reapply your lipstick because the ones that actually stay on they might be really drying but these are really creamy and they they stay on for a good amount of time so I really like it and that's basically my entire face routine I guess you could say or foundation routine but it's every day this is what I do every day for school or work or you know just something simple and as for eyeshadows I keep it neutral I do browns and you know just neutrals and stuff like that but 
As you can see, a lot of these products are drugstore products, and when I thought about it, I was like, wow, a lot of my products I use every day are drugstore. Like, I should tell you guys what I use because it works for me so well, and my face looks really good, I think. Personally, I think it's good. But that's basically my foundation routine for every day, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring, but... I've been getting a lot of requests for another what's in my purse video. I guess that video is really popular, so I guess my next video will be what's in my purse. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys get a couple of ideas for what to use maybe on yourself. Um, a lot of these products, you can find them all in drugstores, besides the Coastal Scent stuff and everything. But a lot of the stuff is inexpensive, so I highly recommend you guys go check out your drugstore. And I hope to see you guys soon, and have a great day. Bye!